You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So, um, this book is also a Berenstain Bear book. I find that I've been reading quite a few of them lately. And they are good because it teaches kids on a simpler level um, some of the most basic lessons that we should be teaching our kids. Um, that's just my opinion. You know, um, with the book reviewer, you get opinions and maybe a fact or two. You never know. I mean, it is the book reviewer. Um, anyway, so I have read this book by Stan and Mike Berenstein. Now, if you'll notice, it is a change from the Stan and Jan Berenstein that you usually see on the old time um, Berenstein Bear books. And this is why. Um, Stan, I think, is the man, I think. And he passed away a few years ago. I think it was back in 2010. And so Jan and Mike, Jan is the mother, and then Mike is the, the son that's also an artist. So they kind of took over... Uh, making these bear stand bear, bear books happen. Um, so that was something interesting. Is I hadn't read bear stand bear books for a few years up until very recently. Um, so I didn't know that. Um, so this new one is called Bear and Stain Bears and a Job Well Done, and it is like I said from Jan and Mike Berenstein. It is 32 pages long. And it is geared for ages from three to about six years old. Um, so that would be like pre-K, kindergarten, first grade type um, of a book. So, um, so what happens in this book is that they, the cubs are given a job to clean out their playhouse. And... Little kids don't want to do chores. What do they want to do instead? Yeah, they want to play. And this is kind of what happens when they're given this chore of cleaning their very own playhouse, which is um, reasonable because it is their playhouse. They play in it. They use it. They should help clean it. Um, that's just a logical train of thought. I just... Uh, went in there with. Um, so the kids begin to play and you know their parents talk to them about it. Um, there is a mention of the Bible in it so it is partially religious depending on how you feel about um, religion being taught to children. Now some say it's okay from birth, some say that it's um, to leave the kids out of it and find their own religion when they're old enough. Um, there's many different views. So, um, it is entirely up to you. But it does mention the Bible in there a couple times. And, and they, they teach that a job well done is a job worth doing and worth doing well. Um, that's how I've always thought of work. Um, that something worth doing is, one, going to take a while, especially if, if you have to wait for paperwork to go through or, or if you're going to have to wait on somebody else, um, like for a car ride or something like that. So um, definitely things can take a while, especially if they haven't been done or if they haven't been done having been done in the first place like if it's your first time deep cleaning a house when you haven't done it before 
it's going to take um, much longer than if you deep cleaned it every six months. So, um, a job is worth doing, but it's also worth doing well. And this is what the Cubs eventually learn in this book. And, um, this does have a Kindle edition, you guys. Um, it is very, very cheap on the, on Amazon. It is less than $2 for an ebook right now. Um, although, as you know, prices fluctuate everywhere. It's not just Amazon, it's everywhere. Um, so, that price may go up. Um, it might go down if, if it's on sale or a clearance or something. But, anyway, um, would I recommend this book? Absolutely. Because if there is a four-year-old or a five-year-old in my life, either if it's a niece or a nephew or a cousin, um, who is that age, I would be inclined to read them this book. Um, of course, if it wasn't my child, I would probably say, hey, did you want to preview this book before I read it to them? Or if the parents have read it before, they'd be like, oh yeah, sure. But it's totally the parent's discretion. So, um... Have you guys read this book? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Or did this uh, book review make you want to pick it up at maybe your local library or your local bookstore and check it out? Um, I will put links down in the description below to where you can find it on Amazon or your Kindle or your tablet or whatever device you have. And it would make a great gift for a loved one. I mean, you can gift, um, you can gift and loan out ebooks as well. So, there's that. Um, that's my book review for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again soon. And if I don't see you guys before Christmas, which I think I should, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.